Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys another Overwatch video here today talking about Symmetra. We've had some time with the rework, available and competitive, and all that good stuff. And I think now is a pretty good time to determine how you know successful this rework was. You know, this isn't her first rework and she's always been a throw pick, a troll pick, something that was never going to really help you win. Now, you could win with some, uh, Symmetra, but typically when you would be successful with Symmetra is when you would have won without her, right? You know, if, if, even if your team only had five players or if you were playing pretty much anything else. And now Symmetra, I think, is, is, is still kind of in that vein in that, you know, if you are going to win... Symmetra is just going to be kind of like that cherry on top that that that's that extra layer of oppression that your team needs in order to uh, maybe solidify a huge victory, whether it be, uh, you know, getting a ton of time or uh, just not allowing the enemy to flip that point one time. Um, but I, th I think she's definitely in the best state that she has been every single time she gets some sort of change. Uh, it is absolutely warranted, needed, and helps a lot. And this one did that once again. Her damage output is incredibly high in, uh, in a lot of circumstances. Uh, she's not going to be, you know, very good on a lot of maps. Like, let's say, I don't know, Dorado, for instance. Uh, I'm just, you know, picking that one out of my back pocket. Not so great there. But... And she's, and she's not going to be, like, really, really good for, like, one game type either. It's like, oh, you always want her on Assault, or you always want her on uh, uh, on Hybrid, or, or something like that. You know, it's definitely just how the geometry of the map works. And a little bit your team comp. I mentioned in the Hammond video that Symmetra works really well with him. She also works really well with Brigitte, because... Uh, Brigitte can just basically be uh, an off tank for Symmetra in that she has so much damage that you don't want to eat and she can do it pretty safely as well. Her spammable nature is at its highest that it's ever been and your ability to send turret bombs through the teleport as you saw me do uh, just right there as I got like four kills or something. Shoot out the teleporter and uh, send all of your turrets through. It's gonna catch your enemies by surprise. It's gonna do a pretty decent chunk of quick damage to them, which might be all you need for a squishy to turn around. And then if they're not if they're not looking at you, that little charged up ball, not even all the way, uh, might be all that you need, or your teammate gets the kill, or you know what have you. They they can't get enough healing. You know her, the ability of the turrets to really cause chaos in the enemy team I think is worth a lot in what the turrets can do. They slow people down a ton, like if they were getting frozen by May a ton. And speaking of May, I think Symmetra also works really well with May. I think that that quad of characters, depending on the map, Symmetra, May, uh, Brigitte, and Hammond can work a ton of chaos into any sort of enemy team comp. And I think... Uh, you, know, you know, her ultimate isn't very good, and you know, uh, still one of the worst in the game. Uh, you know, I think her teleporter as it is now, while it isn't as, uh, you know, win trump card as it was in the past in certain circumstances with Symmetra's nature, if you were doing very well, Symmetra would put you over the top. You know, if you were doing, if you were winning every single team fight, and you had a teleporter, it just kind of guaranteed that even if they got like a good ult off, that no matter what, you weren't going to allow that point to flip over or to have them, uh, you know, stop you from getting the objective or getting too much percent or anything like that. So I'll take a seat here because she does not have a take a bow emo as of yet because I'm a magician pulling kills out of a character that didn't used to get a ton of kills. She is a damaged character as she always has been, but now is treated as such uh, in the game mode. Uh, much like other characters that were uh, quoted as defensive heroes before, even though Symmetra was never quoted as that, that's probably what most people would have thought of her as a DPS if she was considered that. She's a bit better on uh, attack because, you know, in game modes where you do have defenses, uh, she's she's not going to be as structured as Torbjorn, 
Uh, she's a bit more flexible in that, you know, she's got those three turrets that she can kind of throw everywhere from a safe place and you know, can spam down a hallway. So that is, you know, more defensive in nature uh, than other aspects of her kit historically. But I think the, uh, the true oppressive power of Symmetra lies obviously in her left click and her turrets to kind of cause just a ton of damage if the enemy is not paying attention as you see me go right here a wahun a tahu a th three a four piece that's how we do it and that's how you clean up a point as i go on a 20 kill streak right there with symmetra attacking with the payload and she she definitely has that ability to completely take over a game if she's not accounted for kind of like a Widowmaker that even though if a Widowmaker isn't good and she's you know not hitting a ton of headshots play the game by the way because yellow um even if a Widowmaker isn't hitting you know headshots you know crazy critical hit moves if she's just not being looked at if everyone's ignoring her then her body shots will rack up and beat a team uh, that just doesn't pay her any mind and Symmetra is very similar although she's a bit harder to pin down in that you have to look out for the turrets you have to know where the turrets are you have to stay wary of her spam and anyone who may be protecting her you know if you know, Mercy's damage amping her that's gonna be a ton of damage that you might not have enough time to react to and if you're on an assault map uh, like I am right here um, once you get the point her ability to defend in a sense, even though it's not technically defense, her ability to defend with those turrets to slow people's roll down, to force the enemy to, you know, be a little bit more coordinated in order to get some sort of um, usable push, right? Because there, I took out the, the, the tracer, so she couldn't, you know, come and kill me or, you know, f farm our tanks or get at one of the, uh, one of the other squishies on the team. Uh, my turrets were able as, you know, a, a part of my kit, obviously, I was able to uh, put some big chunk damage into her with my alternative fire, uh, just slowed that roll, right? If, let's say, uh, a diva comes in and they get hit by the turret, all of a sudden they lose a ton of momentum, maybe they were trying to go for the ult, and now they can't get to where they need to because they got slowed down by the turrets, or a Genji comes in with his ult, right, he gets slowed down, and then he gets discorded or something, he gets shot by a helix rocket, and all of a sudden he's taken care of without something as skillful as like a sleep dart, you know, to get rid of him or something like that. So Symmetra definitely brings uh, a lot more to the table than she did before. And, you know, her uh, her ability to uh, spam that alternative fire, although it no longer goes through barriers, its splash damage is pretty darn large. You never really want to use the primary fire. There's only a few instances where you should ever use primary fire. Um, when there's like an Orisa barrier uh, and you can safely hit it without, be without exposing yourself just so you can charge it to another level. If a Diva's defense matrixing, of course, she'll eat your secondary uh, blasts. And if a Genji's deflecting, those are the only three circumstances where you should ever, ever, ever use your alternative fire unless someone's at like one health all you have to do is just tap and they're dead, right? Hit them with the laser pointer. Or if you hit them with a, uh, a nice big charge, but it doesn't kill them instantly and you're not close enough to melee, then just zip, zap it and forget it. Even though most of the time you would most more uh, have more success just tapping that alternative fire because those little bits of damage will be quite easy to hit with, those, with that radius and is going to deal pretty big chunks of damage. So she's definitely an oppressive hero still, but better at what she did before because her the, the, you, the ability to put the turrets where you want, put them high up. And she's actually not terrible at taking care of Faras, depending on the map. If we were like in say city center where she has the entire sky to herself, you know she's has you know a little bit more freedom more areas to go but something like here where there's still high walls those symmetric turrets are going to slow her down and prevent her from pretty much getting anything done if those turrets are there and obviously if she gets close to the ground you can be able to do some pretty boku damage to her as well and the teleporter is something that not a lot of people are 
really utilizing a ton right now in matchmaking or quick play or mystery heroes or anything right now um because you know it, it takes coordination of the team to do but i've uh been the symmetra on my team or had a symmetra on my team in competitive on say hanamura first point attack where we just get to the choke right with our ryan or our risa barrier to protect anyone from getting instantly killed throw the teleporter behind them onto the point get on easy cap every single time every single time my team has ever done that granted it's not like a couple dozen times but every single time my team has had a symmetra do that we've taken the point every single time the enemy just doesn't know what to do there's not really a great counter against that unless you see it coming and you together as a team have a plan to take care of business with destroying that teleporter or killing the first people that come through or you know junk rat trap or something of that nature just the speed at which you can carry uh teammates that just can't be moved in by any other means like a, an orisa to get her on the high ground or to uh, get your soldier or your mccree to a high ground a lot quicker than they would be able to in the first place if ever at all in some circumstances uh just the teleporter catches people off guard so much with the this uh the turret bombs as well as getting people behind on points past chokes i feel like uh, uh symmetra really nullifies the bunker of a defense that so many people are used to just hold the choke with barriers and spam well now we have one easy uh ability on cooldown uh, right out of the gate that's going to get the job done pretty much every single time and she's quite fun to play she can bust out some insane damage and give your team more utility in a lot of circumstances which just isn't available before and synergizes a ton with a lot of the characters that have been tweaked and introduced thus far into the game with hammond with brigitte with uh maze ray Re rework and while she isn't as versatile or as overwhelming as I think a May can be, with the with the right setup of you know tanks and healers, depending on the situation, she can be so oppressive that she just never dies and gets ults insanely quickly. I've seen that happen on uh, my on the enemy tween, team uh, quite a few times, and boy, is it a bummer when there is a great wall of shield that just prevents you from getting in and that's what symmetra is able to do so is she viable in some maps yes i would never have said she was before after you know after a while once everyone got used to playing the game where you know sometimes i would play her defense on hollywood or defense on anubis uh, but after a while there was never a reason to use symmetra once everyone learned that she can't do anything but now she can pull some magic tricks out and you better watch out however you have to be careful with how you use her because it can still be a throw pick in some spots